an overwhelming desire to be right at all costs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I care about, uh, about correctness, about safety, um, and I'm also intensely curious. I want to understand what things are only theoretically possible and what will actually happen in the real world. Some of my background comes from uh, undergraduate experience in science, so I, I have some uh, physics and some psychology experience and a lot of math, um, and those have helped shape the way I design experiments uh, and, and how I frame the research. Uh, but the other side of it is a, an engineering background. I'm a, a practitioner, both as a network engineer and as a software engineer. And those two things have helped me to um, think practically about computer science, which is actually not my research background. I've, I have no formal training in CS. I have no experience working on, on database engineering myself, uh, although I have run several databases and uh, I'm notorious on a few mailing lists here and there. Um, but I have worked on production systems that use databases, and those are also, in many cases, distributed systems, some stateful, some not. So I have an understanding of how the, the clients will interact with the system, and I have a, a, a layman's appreciation for uh, distributed systems design in databases themselves. Sometimes I'll, I'll hear of a project and I, I know that it has some sort of critical flaw, and if it seems like people expect that it will be safe and I have a hunch it won't, then it's, um, I think it will be useful to be able to, to expose that issue or disconfirm it if it turns out to be safe. Um, another criterion is uh, whimsy. Like if there's a really unusual design, for example, CockroachDB is not something that anybody out there is really doing, making an explicit dependency on uh, semi-synchronized clocks and playing for a, a future in which Google-style true time is available everywhere. It's uh, somewhat unusual in an SQL database, and I like to sort of cover uh, a spectrum of different technologies, both in terms of distribution and APIs. Uh, you know, of course, I can be somewhat uh, uh, mean to, to databases, and uh, I think it's always difficult to see your favorite technologies, um, you know, uh, treated harshly, whether with cause or without. So some people uh, will will take it personally and, and not be super happy about me, um, you know, making claims about a DB. I think generally my factual reputation is good, but people may take issue with the way I frame an analysis. Uh, sometimes that means that. There will be arguments within a user base. Some people will be like, oh, this psychopathic asshole is, you know, ripping into, ripping into, you know, XYZ DB. How dare he? This is full of shit. And other times the same company will be like, actually, we think this is a real bug and we're grateful they fixed it. Um, I've had the same company tr uh, call my boss to complain about me and also try to hire me. So, you know, reaction is mixed. But I think over time, it's trended more positive. People, uh, especially vendors, are now treating these failure modes as a serious thing to consider and putting more effort into doing testing themselves. If you're an academic, you'll be publishing within uh, a, a process and a culture which provides, in theory, repeatability and, and trust in the reputation, both of the journal and, and of the academic and the institution. Uh, not having an institutional affiliation and not having the same sort of, of journal peer review process means that my work should be treated with maybe more suspicion. Um, and of course, there are always questions when you, ha when you have a, a researcher who is paid by the companies that they're analyzing, um, especially in, in biotech, uh, there's always questions of conflict of interest. And so I want to disclose those accurately and to make promises to users that show them what sort of pressures I will feel and also how to better understand the work itself. And there are, of course, technical limitations, too, that, that mean Jepson is not a suitable way to evaluate some things. People often look at Jepson and say, oh, this database is slow, not realizing that Jepson pathologically targets um, like the worst performance cases in order to obtain correctness errors. Jay and the Beach has been wonderful. Yeah, it's great out. The sun's shining. The birds are singing. The ocean's nice. Good food, good people. And the talks are great.